Welcome back Eagle fans for another episode on our road to greatness. Today we have four episodes wrapping up December month as we move into the January transfer window. So Aston Villa, Liverpool away in the Carabao Cup which is going to be a huge huge test of our young Eagles. Then Brentford and Everton. Come on you Eagles. First up Aston Villa. These matches are always tough. They always have a lot of pace down the side with Kostic and Diaby with Watkins and Schick always proving difficult to mark. But we've got this. Let's go. We simply have to focus on this man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today? Captivating season, highly competitive, especially at the summit. Well, what a great... oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. Still a chance. Threat over for now, it seems. Really closing him down. Ezzy. Promising sequence. No possibilities in the centre. In it goes! The goal for 1 0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is just inviting someone to attack it which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal it's on can they profit from this well the cross was acceptable but no one there to thump at home Ezzy has a go Real defensive resilience. Ezzy. Could be threatening. The delivery. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Into the second half then, eye-catching stuff from Palace in the first half. Are we in for more of the same here? An effective challenge. Diaby. Well, the danger is still there. He takes aim. He's blocked it. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well. Jota. Spot on with that tackle. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And they might be through here. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. And the danger clear. Now, well, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Can he put it away? Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Diogo Jota. Going well. 
Jota cutting infield here pulls it back and there it is a goal but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings they haven't been and there goes the final whistle plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory well Derek it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were technically superior had better individuals and were always a threat going forward it was a really good performance and a good result as well well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's put in a really authoritative performance here. Wonderful performance by the side today. Fantastic performance from Edouard, leading from the front as usual. We had four goal scorers, Aliso, Edouard, Raksaki and Gomez coming off the bench to get a fantastic fourth volley goal. Um, yeah, good day at the office all, all, all around. I mean, we need to try and concede fewer goals, um, but it's definitely, definitely an improvement on our recent games. Let's go into the next one. Next game up, we have Liverpool in the Carabao Cup after that huge victory against Arsenal in the previous round. You know, I can only hope that they play a weakened side because it is just the Carabao Cup. But looking at these numbers, they look like they're playing their first team. So, you know, as usual, you already know what we're going to do. We're going to play our rotated side. Yeah, they're going to play their strongest side. <laughs> We're going to play our rotated side. You know, Met likes of Mensa, um, Gomez, and Dre, Cruz, Franca, Hamado all coming in. And um, another opportunity for the young Eagles to show what they're all about. Let's go. The man of the moment. Three goals in his last three matches. And you can't argue with that sort of form. We'll have the action on EA TV. And well, I must say, this stadium falls in the must-visit category for any football fan, should the chance come his or her way. Anfield is the venue. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And coming up, action from the quarter-final stage of the Carabao Cup. It is Liverpool up against Crystal Palace. Well, a semi-final place is up for grabs, so we should be in for a classic encounter here today. With both teams desperate for silverware, I'm expecting a fiercely competitive contest, Derek. Plenty of support here. What a genuine opportunity. Salah. On to Alexander-Arnold. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but... Possession lost by Liverpool. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Chris Richards. Gomez. Feeding it through. And they could do damage. And there it is. The breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, that's a clinical finish. He just put his head down. There was no stopping that, was there? Well, they couldn't take advantage of the position they were in. It looks promising. Chances on. Pretty straightforward for the keeper. They've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Now in a more than decent position. Decent position. Now will the cross work out for them? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Breaking at pace. And he might be through here. Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now. And the lead fully merited. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great... And playing it back. Just couldn't get it through. Oh, 
Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Liverpool taking on Newcastle United. Alexander Arnold. Mo Salah. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, just look at this. Magnificent agility, perfect timing and great connection. What a goal that is. So underway once again, and you just sense the momentum may well be with Liverpool now. Chris Richards. This is a message for Miller Ali. Miller Ali, can you please meet Jennifer? It's a good Liverpool move in the making. Surely the equaliser. What an astonishing few minutes from seemingly out of it. It's all square again. Can you believe it? Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So underway again. And it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Ryan Giles. Oh, surely! And missing the chance. Well, he strikes it cleanly, no doubt about that. But unfortunately, he's missed the target. He's got to score there. But... So the corner played into the box. And the problem not completely solved. Textbook defending inside the box. 20 minutes to go in this one. And he's made headway. Surely. And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He And Palace did well to win back possession. Are being pressed here. This might be ideal for the counter. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Ahamada. Technique displayed. Can he finish them off? And second time around, he scores. But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. There's the final whistle. The travelling fans are full of the joys because they are moving on. Well, what entertainment that was. They certainly played some great attacking football. Let's go! Damn! What a performance. You know, when we raced two goals ahead, and Dree had those fantastic goals at a, in the first half. When we raced two goals ahead, I thought, we're just going to see this out. It's going to be a nice and easy game. But then did you hear the fans, the Anfield fan, the Anfield faithful, they came through for their side and really gave them that additional... Oh no, that additional push that they needed. And when they scored those two goals, I thought, yeah, that's it. All the momentum is with Liverpool. <laughs> no, there's no way that we're going to come back in this one. But we held our nerve. We caught them on the break with Gomez. Gomez showing his pace and his composure and what a finish. Ultimate power in that finish by him. And then Ahamada came in and put the result to bed for us. Man, what a performance. The Eagles never died. The young Eagles are flying. <sighs> see i didn't really want this but it's happened so we have two youth players that are unsettled angelo who is d'angelo who is an italian center back that came at the back end of last season from our youth scouts um, so i'm going to promote him to the senior team i don't really mind that i'm going to loan them out and see how they develop and also texero who's also a young brazilian that came two seasons ago he's only 17 but his stats look decent and 
very interesting to see how he develops so promoted both of them guys to the senior team and we move into our third game against Brentford away from home um, they only made really one change in this one and it's down to Raksaki just feeling a little bit of fatigue a little bit of tightness in his hamstring so I brought in Gomez on the left hand side um, but everyone else is up and ready to go for this match let's go you Eagles in advance but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow Stuart what do you think we'll see from him today well how can you stop him if you get too tight he'll use the space behind you drop off and he'll turn and run at you add that to his movement in the box and you can see why he scored so many and drawing it back can they forge ahead well the Eduard Eberechi Ezzi on the ball able to skip past his man teammates and support reading it well and here so little to choose between the sides and that's a straightforward stop actual Eberechi Ezzi on the ball encouraging move from Crystal Palace be through here and there it is the opening goal one nil and they'll and slipped through beautifully chance to equalize and it goes to square the game what a contest Tyrick Mitchell can he put it away Oh, magnificent save! And over it comes. Clearance wasn't decisive. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here it is again. And just look how he sets himself ready to hit this. He judges the flight of the ball perfectly, and what a sweet connection. And unable to keep possession. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Brentford facing Aston Villa. The game has been turned on its head. They have never stopped believing, and now they sense victory. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. And there goes the final whistle. The big story here, maximum points for Palace. What did you make of it? Well, that was attacking football at its best. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I've run out of words for Decore. He always scores those type of goals. I don't know what it is. It looked like that was going to be a really tough game. It was a tough game. It was hard to break down Brentford. The first half was really slow. But Decore picked up that ball 30 yards out outside of the area and nestled a beautiful shot in the top right corner can't complain at all and then Olisa got a fantastic goal as well cutting in on the from the right hand side on his favoured left foot and curling a beautiful shot into the top left corner let's go that is exactly what you want to see from these players exactly what we want to see as we chase down the Premier League title and defend our title Eagles never die we keep soaring as you know from the start of the season I had Diallo um, I, I, well I promoted him from the youth squad um, I wasn't 100% sure where he fits in his stats aren't really special in any other place so I trained him as into a centre midfielder to see what type of changes we can expect 
He went up to 54. He's only 17, but you know, I'm gonna leave him on the transfer list to be honest. Um, I only did that so that we can maybe get a few more extra hundred thousands for him in the transfer window. Moving on into Everton. Um, expect another tough game, really. There are no easy games in the Premier League. To be the best, you have to beat the best. Um, the likes of Barrow, um, Declan, Dorvan, Reed. Declan could call Dorvan Reed, <laughs> whatever his name is. Um, he's always a problem. And I can only really see Tyreek Mitchell and maybe Raksaki being swapped out just for a bit of fatigue, I guess, that I've seen. So I brought in Giles and Gomez to start this game. You know, still got a lot of quality in the side. Let's go, you Eagles. A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go head-to-head -head and toe-to-toe? -to -toe? This is football out of the very top draw. Kick-off next here on EA TV. character to go with their quality it was a good performance today i'm expecting them to repeat that performance could be oh he couldn't outwit the keeper playing it in not quite the clearance they were hoping for de cordova reed and a goal an early boost for them the first goal of the game they're off and running well here's the replay and you can why he's upset he got something on it but not enough to keep it out that's frustrating for a keeper to save was absolutely magnificent real chance a magnificent stop good technique displayed this could square the game But hang on, the flag has gone up, and it's not going to count. Will it? He has teammates around him. Well, on a good day, that might have gone in for the equaliser. Yeah, Will he play it in? Big chance to get them on terms. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Barrow has it. Well, the fans are certainly having their say. Just listen to them. They thought that was a penalty. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. The supporters want to see him have a go. A go! excitement a back and forth type of game now they're left Gomez Ducouré he's in with a chance and the keeper's technical skills there for all to see can he deliver it with accuracy oh fantastic effort he made great contact but the key premier league action coming up for you soon on ea tv it's everton taking on liverpool having to shoot and what a magical save it was play stop they will make the change now A good vision there. Counter-attacking chance. Well, these players must be motivated. The crowd have been great. Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. Well, it was so easy on the eye, that counter-attack. But...
It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. A glorious chance. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Crossing possibilities. Well, that ball looks promising. Deciding to go inside. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And there goes the final whistle. Plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful on the back of this victory. Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? <sighs> Damn. I'm happy we got the victory. It was going to be a tough game today. And you saw from the chances we were missing. Fantastic performance by the lads, of course. But at what cost? Guys, we lost Olise. It looked like a it looked like a bad one. Those are the those are the tough injuries when there's no one around you and you go down like that. And he does look like he's in a bit of pain. We need to wait for the medical doctors to let, let us know the extent of his injury. But it doesn't look good so far. He went off with the stretcher. Um I'm confident that we have enough cover in Gomez and Andri. However, Lisa will be a huge, huge loss if this is for a prolonged period of time. Um, but we just have to wait for the initial scans to come through so that we can see the full extent of this injury. Damn, but we keep on moving. We're happy over the three points. We keep on moving. Three months out. A whole three months without Oliso. Damn, that's a huge loss. That is a very big loss to the side. Um, like I mentioned, I'm sure we can definitely move players around and bring in injury and Gomez um, we're gonna start off with Gomez on the left because he's a bit further along and he's the development compared to injury but Aliso man it's been real he might miss the whole half second half of the season after that fantastic goal that he scored in the two games ago this is a big loss for the side but we keep on moving I hope he comes back stronger we say goodbye to Sam Johnston, as you guys already know. We, we um, negotiated a £6 million deal, I believe, for him to leave. But we also brought in a new goalkeeper that's coming in from South America, who's taken his position. So, And he's only 18, so you know, win-win all around. He gets game time and we get a new player in the works as well. Um, Diallo, so a club came in for him. I'm going to try and push for 500 k If a team can... You know, if we can push up that offer to 500,000, I'll be very happy. You know, his market value is 375,000. So if we can get that extra bit of money, it tries to drag their heels a little bit, but we persevered. We always try to get the best deal for the club. Um, and yeah, we agreed 510K for Diallo. All wins around. That brings us to the end of this episode, guys. And we are one point behind Arsenal, level with goal difference. And yeah, we pulled it around, but it's going to be a very tight, 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 uh, tight end to the season. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very tight at the top. Um, I think Newcastle are only three points behind us and they're foot in the fourth position. So um, yeah, we pulled it around. Everything's going well so, go, going well so far. The only thing that I'm worried about is we're going to lose Olise for the end running. Um, especially when Champions League and all the cups come around. In the Carabao Cup, we have Manchester United. As you guys already saw, they battered us 7-1, so we have a bone to pick with them. But this is going to be our youth team, especially. Oh, my days. And in the FA Cup, we have Bolton in the FA Cup third round, which should be an easy game for our youth, our young Eagles to come through. But like I said, there are no easy games, and we just never know what team is going to turn up. But all in all, I am very happy with today's episode. The Lisa, um, the Lisa injury is the one downer. Um, but yeah, make sure you like, share and subscribe so that I can continue making great content for you guys. And I will see you all on the next one. Peace.